What's up? It's your girl Alicia and I'm here today with another video. If this is your first time to the channel, welcome to the Angels Academy, a God-ordained safe space for men and women to heal, to be vulnerable, and to grow into the fullness of God. So please make sure you hit that subscribe button. Come over and join the family, join the tribe. Let me just take a second and thank my Super Chat family. I love and appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for sewing into God's vision here on the channel. To my moderating sisters, mwah, I love you guys so much. Thank you for helping me keep a safe and clean community here. You guys already know what we on in this season, okay? Anybody come crazy down below in that chat. Block period and i do not have the spirit to unblock pray for me hey angels hey family i'm so excited to be here with you guys today i've been in a blocking mood <laughs> glory be to god i've been blocking people since yesterday glory be to god i've been like oprah you get a car I'm like you get blocked you get blocked and you get blocked because <laughs> here's the thing this is a safe place to heal and to grow and to the fullness of god to be vulnerable glory be to god and i'm not gonna make anybody feel uncomfortable about that so respectfully watch your mouth <laughs> glory be to god watch your mouth and everything gonna be good here okay so before we dive into this video today i need you guys to make sure you're subscribed to the other channels you guys are the holy family we are the holy family make sure you subscribe to our vlogging channel i'll put it here it is the holy family make sure you go and subscribe to my fitness channel alicia motley get fit and make sure you go over and subscribe to my mother's channel ramona phillips teach go over there and show her some love and let her know that I sent you guys. So God told me to title this message today, family, the cost of the anointing. Glory be to God. And God is saying today that the anointing costs a lot. Glory be to God. I, I just wasn't sure if that was going to be the title. But it's the same thing. The anointing costs a lot. Glory be to God. So let's just take a second and invite the Holy Spirit in because you guys know that we do nothing here without God. So Father God, in the name of Jesus, I thank you, Lord. I thank you for this time for us to come together in fellowship, Lord, for us to learn more about you, Father. I thank you for the calling that you have on their lives, Lord Jesus. I thank you for choosing them before time, Lord Jesus, and creating a special purpose for them, Lord. I ask that you give them the strength to walk into the purpose with confidence and, and faith, Lord. I thank you for this message today father i ask that you lead and guide this conversation lord jesus none of me and all of you father in jesus name i pray amen comment down below amen so i know it's real yeah i don't know where i get this energy from somebody comment down below it ain't nothing but the spirit <laughs> it really ain't nothing but the spirit i don't know why this person decides to part next to me you part anywhere well, glory be to God. They just got to get close enough to the anointing, y'all. Catch this message in the spirit. Do y'all got y'all Bibles? Comment down below. I got my Bible, sis. I got my Bible so you know it's real. It got to be. Glory be to God. So I'm sure if you're watching this video today, you already know that you are chosen. Glory be to God. You already know that God chose you for a special time and season. And that's right now. Glory be to God. And you've probably been asking yourself over and over again, like, oh my goodness, what is all these attacks that's been coming at me? What is all of these things that I'm dealing with? I know a lot of you guys have been saying that this is the first time in your life that you've experienced spiritual warfare that has been this high. Glory be to God. Comment down below if this is your word today. And so God sent me here to tell you guys today that there is a price for your anointing. Glory be to God. And that you have work to do for the kingdom of God and that God is going to be using you in a mighty way. And you got to believe that there's a price for the anointing. It's going to cost you a lot. Glory be to God. I feel like it's already starting to cost you some things. People, places, things, relationships, all these things you've lost it behind the cause but god is saying today it is all for your good somebody comment down below it is all for my good now understand that god has chosen you to help establish his kingdom on earth glory be to god they're just gonna photo by my video like that <laughs> God has chose you, glory be to God, to help establish the kingdom on earth. And we know that he's coming back someday. And no one knows the day or time that the Son of Man is coming, but he's coming. And you know, 
this is the way God communicates to me because you know God communicates to me a little bit different y'all but I feel like when people look at you they think that you make it look easy glory be to God being in position and staying on purpose but what they don't really realize is that there's a lot of pain that comes behind this purpose there's a lot of pressure that you've been dealing with and see if you're watching this video today and you are under the sound of my voice understand that there is a great cause to activate in the anointing that God places on your life see, God began to enlighten me on this thing right Right? And God said, you know what? The cause for Abraham was Abraham leaving his home to go to a place which will be revealed to him later on. Glory be to God. Do you guys know how scary that had to be for God to tell Abraham, just go ahead and go. Leave your family. Leave your friends. Leave everybody behind. And I'm going to tell you where you're going later. Listen to me. How about Noah, y'all? The cause for Noah was that Noah had to be mocked and ridiculed for building this ark. Glory be to God and being obedient and listening to God's voice. Y'all know that had to hit different. Everybody was saying to Noah, are you crazy? God didn't tell you to build this. Glory be to God. They said the land had been dry all this time, y'all. They said it was no signs that the rain was even coming. Glory be to God. And yet Noah was being obedient to the voice of the Lord and was building the ark. Somebody comment down below. The anointing cost a lot. How about Moses, y'all? The cost for Moses was that Moses had to be willing to give up this lavish lifestyle in Egypt and become one that was slow to speak to being the one who would be the voice of God. Listen to me. So Moses had to go from being slow to speak, glory be to God, to being the voice of God. God, you got to give me something here, God. That, that, that's two different things. Catch this message in the spirit. How about Paul, y'all? The cause for the apostle Paul was his pride, his position, and his power. As a devout Jew, glory be to God. How about the disciples? <laughs> How about the disciples, y'all? <laughs> Listen, Peter, Andrew, James, and John left their vocation of fishing and their families. And see, God was enlightening me on this thing. I'm telling y'all, God was downloading me with this word. And he was like, you know what? Too many people today, you want the anointing, glory be to God. You want to say that, you know what? I'm chosen by the most high God, but you refuse to pay the cost of the anointing. Somebody comment down below where they do that at. And see, this is what God was saying to me. Unlike Abraham, you would rather enjoy the comfort of your own home, right? Then leave it for a destination that is unknown, that God will lead you to. Listen to me. How about Noah? You would rather listen to the voices that's around you. Glory be to God. Instead of the voice that's inside of you. Unlike Moses, glory be to God. You would rather enjoy the pleasures of sin rather than the treasures of heaven. Listen to me. How about Paul, y'all? Unlike Paul, you value your reputation above true repentance. Glory be to God. And unlike the disciples, you rather put your work and your relationship with your family before your relationship with God. Catch this message in the spirit. Listen. So with the cost of the anointing also comes devotion and intimacy with the Father that is always growing in grace as we continue to abide in Him. Listen and see, understand this. Sometimes the cost of the anointing is standing alone with God. Even when you're the only one that's standing. Listen, the cost is making enemies. Glory be to God. Having so much spiritual warfare and opposition that's constantly coming up against you. Because so many people believe that the cross is foolish. Understand that the anointing is a gift. It is something that you cannot buy. It is something that you cannot earn just through good deeds. Glory be to God. It was purchased for us by the blood of the Lamb. Okay, family, get your Bibles because we got to dive into this. Glory be to God. So God had me write all this down. And then he led me to somebody in the Bible by the name of Stephen. You guys get your Bibles and go over to Acts chapter 6. We're going to read a little bit together as a family. And then I'm going to break it down to you guys because you guys know I like to paraphrase. Okay. Now, Stephen is the perfect person to talk about when it comes to being chosen and being a tech because of your anointing. Glory be to God. You guys are going to see today that Stephen had the anointing of God in his life. And he had went through so many different things because of that anointing. And that's all I'm giving y'all. Come on, y'all. We got to read this together as a family. <laughs> all right, y'all. Let's start here. Seven men chosen to serve. Chosen. Listen, but as the believers rapidly multiplied, there were rumblings of discontent. The Greek speaking believers complained about the Hebrew speaking believers, saying that their widows were being discriminated 
against in the daily distribution of food. So they basically like, yo, somebody discriminating against our peoples because y'all not even making sure that they getting food. Like everybody was supposed to be getting distributed the same amount of food so nobody would go hungry, y'all. So listen. So the 12 called a meeting of all the believers. They said, we apostles should spend our time teaching the word of God, not running a food program. And so brothers, select seven men who are well respected and are full of the spirit and wisdom. They like, listen, we got other stuff to worry about. Y'all gonna have to choose somebody that can make sure that they eat. Okay. Cause this ain't dead. Glory be to God. <laughs> Y'all know I'm paraphrasing. We will give them this responsibility. Then we apostles can spend our time in prayer and teaching the word. Everyone liked this idea and they chose the following. Stephen, a man full of faith in the Holy Spirit. Philip, Prochorus, Nicanor, Timon, Parmenas, and Nicholas of Antigua. Child, help me, Jesus. And just, just understand that it was seven people that they chose, and we focused on Stephen. That's all y'all need to know. These seven, somebody comment down below, glory be to God. These seven were presented to the apostles who prayed for them as they laid their hands on them. So God's message continued to spread. The number of believers greatly increased in Jerusalem, and many of the Jewish priests were converted too. Okay, y'all, so listen. They go and choose seven people. Seven men was chosen. And Stephen was one of them. And they specify right then and there that Stephen was a man full of faith and full of the Holy Spirit. So let's just read some more, y'all. Come on. It's, it's just getting hot already. Come on. So all this drama go down, y'all, which I'm about to break it down to y'all. But Stephen ended up getting arrested and getting thrown before the council and everything. Somebody comment down below. What? Let me read a little bit of this before we dive into it. Stephen, a man full of God's grace and power, performed amazing miracles and signs among the people. But one day, some men from the synagogue of free slaves, as it was called, started to debate with him. They were Jews from Cyrene, Alexandria, Cilicia, in the province of Asia. None of them could stand against the wisdom and the spirit with which Stephen spoke. So they persuaded some men to lie about Stephen, saying, we heard him blaspheme Moses and even God. This roused the people, the elders and the teachers of religious law. So everybody all riled up. So they arrested Stephen and brought him before the high council. The lying witnesses said the man is always speaking against the holy temple and against the law of Moses. I'm going to stop it right there because I got to explain this to y'all. I got to explain this to y'all to a way that y'all can understand this. Okay, y'all. So we talking about Stephen. Now, Stephen was a man full of God's grace and power. And he performed great miracles, wonders, and signs among the people. Listen. Opposition arose from members of the synagogue of free slaves. They began to argue with Stephen because they could not stand up to the wisdom the spirit gave him as he spoke. Listen to me. So when God was enlightening me on this whole thing, I said, hold up, God. What is going on here? I said, you mean to tell me? Stephen was a man of God filled with the Holy Spirit and was exhibiting God's power and love in everything he did. And somebody comment down below and they ain't like that. They did not like that. Come on, y'all. Catch this message in the spirit. They was jealous of his anointing. And see, this is what y'all got to understand. He was known for performing miracles, signs and wonders and helping people that was in need. He had the Holy Spirit inside of him and he was already doing work within his ministry to bless other people. Listen, now mind you, they chose seven guys. He was one of them. And listen, he made sure nobody was overlooked in the distribution of food. He made sure everybody ate. And see, while he was doing this, he was still spreading the good news about Jesus with boldness and power. And they ain't like that. So peep the move, y'all. Stephen demonstrated God's message publicly through the miracles he did in Jesus' name. And see, this the one, this the one, y'all, because somebody going to feel this. The Jewish establishment was big mad. Somebody comment down below, big mad. They was mad, y'all, because everybody that tried to disprove the truth about Jesus, they were not able to stand against his wisdom and his spirit. Glory be to God, because he was anointed. He had the Holy Spirit within him. Ha! Listen, this message is so thick. They tried to come up against Stephen because they thought he was alone, y'all. But what they didn't realize is that he really had a legion of angels coming up behind him. Okay? He had God the Father, glory be to God, Jesus the Son, and the Holy Spirit comforting him inside. Catch his message in the spirit. So what do haters do, y'all? They went as far as to lie on him and get him arrested and get him brought before the council. See, some of y'all is chosen and y'all going through this in real life. Somebody comment down below in real life. 
they go as far as to lie to say that they heard Stephen speaking blasphemous words against Moses and God. Hmm. Somebody comment down below. Something don't sound right. It just don't smell right. Glory be to God. And why is it that people can never use their basic common sense? That there's just that little bit of wisdom that God has given them to see through the truth. Glory be to God because it's a spirit. <laughs> they mad that you anointed, boo. So listen, y'all, follow me. They stir up all of this confusion between the people, between the elders and the leaders, between the teachers of the law. They even go as far as to get false witnesses, y'all. They get these false witnesses that's willing to testify about Stephen, right? And they doing all this lying. They like, this dude never stops speaking against this holy place. And against the law. And see, th this this is the one. The gag is, they thought Stephen was going to fold. <laughs> but see, Stephen wasn't doing nothing but making them more angry. Because he stood on the truth. See, Stephen, he went and confronted them with their false religions. And with their denial. And he called them to face the truth. Y'all going to look at this situation and keep it real. He told the history of the Jewish people, beginning with Abraham, progressing through Moses. And ending with the coming of Jesus, the Messiah. Listen. And so he ends this thing off with the attack of the religious leaders who, like many of their ancestors, resisted the essential message of God's revealed word and the leading of the Holy Spirit. These people just didn't want to hear the truth. They didn't want to hear that the word of God was true. The Holy Spirit was leading some things. His words angered them so bad, y'all. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! The Jewish leaders rushed out of the city to stone him to death. And see, I had to pause in this moment. Glory be to God. And God had reminded me of the place in the Bible where he says that, you know what? You got to be willing to die by the call. They're going to come up against you. They're going to stone you. They're going to mock you. They're going to do all these things to you just because you belong to me. Glory be to God. If they did it to me, they definitely going to do it to you, poo. And I said, God, that, that was corny. It ain't had to go down like that. Glory be to God. But you see, sometimes we don't always understand why God allowed things to go the way that they go. But we got assurance that God takes care of his sheep. Glory be to God. We got assurance that there is a heritage that you're going to get. We got assurance that God is going to take care of you now and to the end of times. You got a covenant promise that if you keep it real with him, he's going to keep it real with you. This is the God that we serve. And see, the Holy Spirit said, Alicia, pause. What you guys don't understand is that the entire body of Christ is under attack right now. And see, this is the season where God is separating the wheat from the tear. He wants to know what's real and what's not. Come on, y'all. I want to take you guys over to something in the Bible. Holy Spirit said, Alicia, show them this. Stephen's words angered the Jewish leaders so much that they rushed him out of the city and stoned him to death. As he stumbled under the rain of stones, Stephen called upon God to receive his spirit and to forgive the people who were killing him. My God. Glory be to God and God bless this word today. And see, unlike Stephen... Many of you guys hold on to grudges and to past hurts and allow them to control your life. And see, this makes complete healing and recovery impossible. Glory be to God. So why they was lying on him, the, the witnesses, y'all, they had the witnesses lying on him. The Holy Spirit pointed out something to me. Come on, y'all, let me show y'all. Here they go lying, y'all. And then it says, at this point, verse 15, everyone in the high council stared at Stephen because his face became as bright as an angel's. <laughs> See, this was the one. Listen. So why the witnesses are sitting there lying, y'all? Glory be to God. Everybody that is sitting in the room at the time, they turn and look at Stephen with a serious face. What is this? And they notice his face was like the face of an angel. <laughs> Somebody comment down below. It ain't nothing but the spirit. Listen. See, this is what they felt to realize. They felt to realize that Stephen was highly anointed by God. The Bible tells us that his ministry performed many signs and wonders. But listen to me, y'all. The anointing comes with a price. He encountered great opposition. Glory be to God. He experienced great animosity. Y'all ever wonder what all the animosity is about? <laughs> like, what is the animosity about? Listen. 
Listen, false witnesses were marshaled against him. Oh, this is a lot. But the Holy Spirit gave him wisdom against the opposition of the enemies that they could not even stand. Now listen, y'all, y'all just picture this. As he stood right before his opponents, he stood face to face with his enemies, y'all. They said his face looked like that of an angel. <laughs> Oh, catch this message of the spirit. The Holy Spirit was inside of him the entire time. See, God had a plan for all of this, that he would still get the glory out of it. And see, listen, if this is your word today, nobody knows the way God's power will be manifested through each of God's chosen vessels. But it is evident in scripture that all who were mightily used and anointed by God to fulfill his purposes in very extraordinary ways, they suffered many hardships. Glory be to God. Some hardships that remain untold. And you guys know this. Moses, Joseph, David, Paul, Jesus, the apostles, me, and you too. Glory be to God. And see, God sent me here to tell you guys today that it has not ended. If you are God's child and you are chosen by God, you will face great opposition because of God's hand on your life. Somebody comment down below. This is the cause of the anointing. Glory be to God. It's something about it, y'all. It attracts fierce opposition. If this is your word today, keep going and do not give up. I didn't even get into the prophetic writing, y'all. Shall we? <laughs> Let's dive into it. If this is your word today, the challenges and the difficulties and opposition you are encountering is because of God's anointing on your life. What God has purposed you for is so huge that the powers of darkness is instigating animosity and false testimonies against you. Catch this message in the spirit. You are doing a great work, saith the Lord. That's why the enemy is mad. You are living authentically for Jesus and this threatens the kingdom of darkness. He don't like that. But God sent me here to tell you guys today, God is on your side. You are divinely protected and divinely guided. God will give you wisdom to outsmart every assignment sent to oppose you. Glory be to God. No matter what false things are said about you, God will vindicate you. So if this is your word today, be strong and continue to be a genuine witness by the way that you live your life. Don't allow the enemy to dim your light, okay? Let your light shine wherever you go. God will fight your battles for you. There is a cause for the anointing. Glory be to God. But don't give up because God is with you. Glory be to God. I just feel led to pray. Father, I pray for every one of your children undergoing attacks because your anointing is upon them and their life is shining for you, Jesus. May your grace and your presence be so strong that their faces will shine like angels before their enemies. Your promise is that no weapon formed against them shall prosper, Lord Jesus. Nullify every plot against your children's lives and vindicate them for the sake of your great name. I ask this in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Comment down below, amen, so I know it's real. I love you guys so much. That was a word. Listen, if this is your word today, comment down below, sis. This is my word. You guys know that we are on the road to 50,000 angels, so do not forget to continue to like, comment, subscribe, share out the videos to whoever you know needs to hear the word of God, needs some help, healing. If you have not gotten your holy anointed oils yet, go down below, click on that link, and go over and get your holy oils. Super Chat family. I love you guys so much. Thank you guys for so into God's vision here on the channel. My moderating sisters, don't play with them. Period. Glory be to God. I'll see you guys in my next video. But always remember the secret to success. Put God first. Always be determined. And consistency is key. I love you guys. And I'll see you guys later. Bye, angels. Mwah.